Michelle. How are you? Happy Monday. I'm so glad you chose to join me today. I'm going to actually see if we can do a Facebook and Instagram live, which I have not done before, so just bear with me. Let's see if we can get this going. Okay. All right, everybody. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. We are live right now for our mindful moment session. And so I'm really glad you all came. I'm thank you for saying yes. Like that's the first step, right? We all said yes to give ourselves a little bit of uh, nourishment for our soul. Um, and so for those who don't know, I'm Elise Robinson and I'm the director of the J Performing Arts Space and bringing you mindful moments on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 p.m. So um, just wanted to talk about um, the concept of what about if we thought um, of uncertainty as creative potential? Let's take that in for a second. What about if we, we, we thought of the uncertainty right now as creative potential? How would that start to shift the way we feel, the way we feel empowered, and open up to a whole new range of possibilities, right? So for example, let's say, let me make it tangible for my j -Pass kids um, or any children out there. Um, if let's say you are in love with the arts and you are auditioning for something, the uncertainty, right, could lead to so many creative possibilities. That's what we want to kind of, um, in our mind, make that switch. And for the adults, the uncertainty right now in the world and everything, perhaps that leads us to more creative endeavors. Maybe we have more time, maybe the uncertainty will close one door and open another. Um, so, so many things. And our mind um, is so powerful that once we um, kind of, I want to say, yeah, kind of like take more control of our thoughts or realize that we are not our thoughts and we get to pick which ones that we'd like to choose, then we get to be in a, um, a state of full, perhaps, abundance and opportunity. So um, I wanted to also share before we go in, I want to use a, um, a movement exercise during our meditation today. So to get that going, um, let's just practice it for anyone that's out there. We're going to, when I say clench your hands, this is going to be clenching the uncertainty. And then we are going to open our palms and release into opportunity. Yes? Okay, good. I can see that you're doing that. I'm going to... Hi, Michelle. Hi, Ashley. Anybody else out there, give me a holler. Okay, so now I'm going to kindly ask that we all take our mindful body. And a mindful body is a nice and still body. Um, one that's, you know, alert um, but comfortable, okay? And before, we'll just kind of take your mindful body while we pick our angel card, which I love to do. And let, let's see if we'll make an affirmation around our purpose of um, thinking of uncertainty as unleashing our creative potential. Ooh, good one. Release. Release to all my Instagram people out there. So um, the affirmation let's create is, I release uncertainty and replace it with creative possibilities. Can you say that? I unleash, I release my uncertainty and replace it with creative opportunities. Okay, so now let's all take our mindful body. <clears throat> And the singing bowl in the beginning will signify the beginning of our meditation. And when you hear it at the end, as well as with my voice, that will signify the close. Okay, so in our mindful body, 
still but alert yet comfortable body. Let's take a deep breath there. So I'll just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Big, nice, clearing breath. Let's do that again. Start to desensitize, slow down our nervous system. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. And now let's create a space of ease, of calm, of possibility. We invite a space of ease, of calm, and possibility. And as you take your next inhale, just start to feel the sensation in your body. If you're holding any tension, where might that be? And on the next inhale and exhale, perhaps you start to feel the rise and fall of your belly or of your chest. And start to just rhythmically, at a pace that is comfortable for you, be one with your breath and the rhythm. Perhaps one breath following the next, like a dance in the ocean, one wave following the next. in and out. Perhaps you feel the air at your nostrils and the cool air on the in-breath and the warm air on the exhale. And now with our movement exercise, let's all, with the connection to our breath, Take your fists and clench them together with uncertainty and begin to build the tension on the in-breath. And on the exhale, open your palms and release. Release to the possibility. And let's do that one more time. On the inhale, we clench the uncertainty. And on the exhale, we open and release to the possibility. And that is a good reminder as well that when we release, we are able to make room for newness. Let's all take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And feel on the next inhale the influx of possibility, of opportunity. And let us say our affirmation, I release my uncertainty and I replace it with creative possibilities. Now let's take an awareness to how our body is feeling. As you stay connected with your breath, let's take one more inhale and one more exhale. And at the sound of the singing bowl, and in your time, when you are ready, I will invite you to begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes and bring in the light and the people and the objects that surround you. How are we? I think
think I see Ray Han over here on Instagram. Yes, Michelle, are you still there? How are you feeling? It's nice to sort of just take a collective inventory of how we're feeling. You know what, I feel, <clears throat> I feel like it's an important thing, and especially now with the reminder that we're going to think of uncertainty as creative potential. And I wanna leave you with um, a tool that we can all use, um, a language anchor. And the language anchor is stop, okay, stop. And so if something's happening and you're feeling anxious or stressed, or you just want a moment to relax, a good thing to, to anchor yourself in the moment is stop. And it stands for stop for S, T, take a breath, O, observe, and then proceed, right? Because what we're trying to do is with meditation and mindfulness is also to help us create a space between an action and a reaction so that you can be more um, in control um, of how you want to proceed, act, behave, choices. These are all based in choices. And it's so nice to have choice. So, yes, I'm so glad it was calming for you. Wonderful. Well, everybody, I look forward to seeing you. Hi, Shannon. I look forward to seeing you back here next on Wednesday at 12. And um, as I usually conclude, remember that you are more beautiful than you think you are. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to embracing all the creativity that is stored inside of you. See you soon. <laughs>